So here's the system running with 57 volts and uh, 500, between 500 and 600 milliamps. And you can hear it and see it. That's with Q on. I'm going to turn Q off. You can hear the difference and you can see the difference and you can see that it's a very slight reduction in the amount of current. I'm going to bump the current up, make a small adjustment on the board here. We're going to bump the current up. Now we're drawing 700 milliamps at 57 volts. And you can see the response with the Q off. And here's Q on. Still going at the same level. Q frequency was off a tiny bit. And you can see there's with Q on. This is with Q on. Now I'm going to turn Q off. You can hear the difference immediately. You can see the current is still roughly the same. The voltage is the same. I'm going to turn Q on. And that's with roughly 700 milliamps at 57 volts. Now I'm going to bump the power up a little bit more. 900 milliamps at 57 volts. And now the lightning is becoming kind of uh, actually quite prominent. Very visible. Now I'm going to turn Q off. And you know that the lightning goes away. And continuing here, you'll see that the current is stable. This is with Q off. You can tell. Now I'm going to turn Q back on. And immediately with Q on, you can hear the difference. On, there's no reaction and you can see it. I'll bump the current up a little bit more. That's uh, bouncing right around 1.2 amps RMS. The voltage has been sucked down to 55, 56 volts. That's with Q on. Now I'm going to turn Q off. the bubbles from the anode are not coming out of the, uh, the tube, which houses the anode, which is right there. The current, current housing. And there's, now that's dropping the current down to half an amp with Q active. You can hear it, and I'll turn Q off. Immediately the popping stops. So it's a appreciable sure difference across a wide range of loading back on, back off, there's the anode loading tube. That's the system with uh, the loading, loading turned off. You can see the anode tube uh, goes down close to the bottom and the anode itself is up fairly high. I'll turn loading back on and, and I'll reapply the Q and you can see and Q is Q is less than one watt of current uh, I'm sorry less than one watt of electrical energy going into the beaker uh, Q is the quantum compression weight uh, which I'm impinging on the on the core as it goes there you've got it back up in, back up in power Q off. Q on. Just 
thought of this. Uh, so here's the system with, you know, there's only half an amp, uh, half an amp of 57 volts going into the system there. You can, you can hear it, hear it loading there. Now I'm going to turn the loading off. And you can see Q is still active. Now there's no loading going on. And you'll notice that there's a tiny bit of just late loading still uh, still active in the core and bubbling off. I don't know if you can really see it on the camera here. Uh, I'll turn Q back, turn the loading back on. Starts immediately. I'll turn Q off. So you'll hear the difference. It stops popping. Q off. Q on. The software needs a bunch of work still, but there it is.